Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be continuing our work to get this awesome Lenovo SR650 to take over the jobs of my um, IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 4. Yeah, that involves migrating all the stuff from one ESXi host to another ESXi host, including vSensor, which is the this management system that actually makes it possible to migrate stuff, which is like sawing on the brands where you're sitting. So yeah, there is all opportunities for this to go wrong. But first I wanna update vSensor and then I wanna move it over. So yeah, we're gonna try and do that. I am working with vCenter 6.7 here and uh, we're gonna see if we can upgrade that to the latest and the greatest. So we're gonna move into the computer and hopefully this is not gonna take all day. So moving. So here we are at the computer. Um, this is the VMware Appliance Management. And uh, VMs, it's, it's a virtual machine that you run on a host and it, it well, you're kind of sitting on the branch that you're showing. That's why it's difficult to migrate it. Um, vCenter looks like this. Mine is the 6.7 and it's old. I haven't updated it in forever. And so uh, I have no idea if this is going to work for me, but this is vCenter and I can, um, I can more or less, I can pick a server. Oh, we, that's a vCenter. That's vCenter running here. I can right click and I can migrate. And that's not, you can't do that on a normal host. So you need vCenter for that. So to go manage your vCenter, you need to use a different address. This is the IP number. And I have uh, logged into the, to the, to the name instead. And to, to figure out what the name it was, I, uh, I pinged it with a dash A here. And it told me that it's called vCenter.local. So I, I choose that one. And then it's a port number 50, 5480. And that gives you access to the management of the vCenter appliance. And to log in here, I have this admin password, um, administrator, and I of course have a password there, and we can log in. And we can see different stuff. Um, it's not that happy with me. Overall health. Uh, there are some alerts. It's not satisfied with the amount of memory that is being used and it claims that uh, it's running out of storage. That's not that great. So yeah, I might soon have to reinstall this because I'm not sure how to uh, to give it more storage. I might actually be able to figure that out, but never mind. That's not what we're doing today. Today we are updating it and that's under updates. And when we click here, it will go and check for updates have already done that um, you can see that um, this is like four minutes ago that I uh, checked that but um, yeah for the video six we're gonna let it run it takes a while I must admit and uh, we can see our version up here which is ancient uh, I don't know if it tells me when I have updated this last but uh, most likely about three, four years ago. So that took a little bit and now it tells me that uh, the oldest update that is available is from July uh, 2018. So yeah, I haven't updated this in three years. So, but there is three pages here and it tells me here that uh, the, the, the updates are cumulative. Um, I can't say that, but uh, that means that the new updates has everything that I need. So I can go to the last page here, which well, we can kind of just pick the last one. That one, stage and install. Okay. A lot of, probably a lot of stuff that I should have done. If, if this messes up, I will just have to install a new version. That's just how that goes. So we agree with the license agreement, otherwise it's going to be a rather short video. Next, running pre-update. 
for running, blah, 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 blah. Uh, join the, no, we don't want that. Next. Uh, estimated time. 79 minutes. I have backed up B Center. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. I haven't. But as I just said, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to reinstall it. It's uh, it's a big deal. I hate reinstalling the sensor, but well, luckily I have made some videos along the way so that I can just go back and see what I did last time. So I'm sure I can manage. So uh, finish, go, go gadget. And uh, 79 minutes. I do not expect you to hang around for that long. So I'm gonna pause and we're gonna get back when this gets interesting. So now it's stopping services. I'm pretty sure that the V Center is gonna be shutting down and probably rebooting more than once during those 79 minutes of reinstalling or updating it is. I don't know if it's gonna totally reinstall, but it's definitely gonna update. And I do believe that, well, they have done quite a bit of improvement over the years. When I installed this, the, the HTML5 version was kind of dutchy. I think they have fixed most of the issues in the last three years. So yeah, I might actually get a better VM browser when I'm done. Okay, this took a while, but it has updated. We can see it here. We have a new version number. Uh, we have exactly the same alerts here. It's still complaining about memory and storage. So nothing new about that. Let's just say that we have updated that. And I have already logged into it. And we can see that the, the vCenter server is running here. And I didn't get an opportunity to extend either the hard drive or the... Well, it has 13 hard disks. That's a lot. It's using a lot. It's not as if it's not using any space. Never mind. I think we should try and move this over now. See if it will migrate over to the new server. So, um, yeah, here goes nothing. We are running it from SSD. We are probably going to do the same, but let's write. Oh, and I just opened this so that, yeah, there is also that. There's the console to the, to the thing. We can see the processors that we are running on. It has plenty of power. So let's see if we can migrate. And we're going to migrate both to a new uh, computer and to a new storage. Next. And we're gonna move that to our new server here, and it's gonna be on the active servers. Oh, there are compatibility issues. What do you say? The vMotion interface is not configured. Oh, vMotion interface. Okay, so we need to go and check that. Okay, what this can be is that the network needs to be prepared for doing vMotion. Uh, vMotion is where you can move one virtual machine from one host to another host. We are already doing that, so I don't know why it isn't just doing it, why it suddenly complains. But uh, if we take the, the host here, and we go configure, and we check the network switch, uh, we have something here called the vKernel and if I check that and, and view settings there is nothing called vMotion here which is kind of weird if we um, click it again and edit settings I can enable the service vMotion for it I don't know if we should do that for the old server um, but yeah let's Let's try and enable vMotion there. And uh, let's see, did it do that? It completed that. And then let's go to the new host. And I have already been in here. And that also has this setting. 
and it is not enabled here either so let's enable it and okay let's see this big adapter is bound to an ice garden chasing its setting might cause issues okay let's see if it doesn't work so let's go back and see if we can now move this market right click migrate both next let's tell it where to go this one active servers and now we get in compatibility check success so that did something good for us next we can tell it where to put it where to stuff it we're gonna put it on the ssd and it's happy with that i'm gonna go thin provisioning again let's do that i am so cheap with my storage so next and it's gonna go onto the same network that is fine next schedule yeah then it's gonna go right away we're just gonna go with that one and summary good oh this is gonna be very exciting oh it failed already okay i got a little further um as you can see i've tried i tried the first time you saw that the second time i try i kind of just did the same thing hoping that it would uh, change its mind it didn't now i tried to move it you can see i am um, I've made kind of, it's kind of a folder but it's not really a folder it's actually a, a resource pool which means that you can oops um you can have these folders and you can attach resources to them you can say that this pool can use this amount of cpu power or this amount of ram or i forget what you can actually tell it to do but well you can you can edit resources here there are resources that you can you can tell it that this this resource pool has this amount of resources and i found on the internet that it could be a problem moving a virtual machine from one resource pool to another resource pool which was exactly what i was doing i was moving it from up here that one and down to that one and that wasn't working for me so now I'm moving it from here and just directly onto the server. So it's it's getting all the server's resources. And so far it's 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 doing that. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see when it's completed if it still works. So I have been out for a little bit and it has uh, well it has dumped our connection. We have lost timeout. It's probably okay let's see we need to log in again we will do that see if it's up and running and it has moved host so now it's running from the new server and not the old server and we can probably move it into our resource group now and everything should be good that's cool okay that wasn't too bad we upgraded the vCenter uh, 6.7 to a later version, mostly most up-to-date that is available. And I moved it over from one host to another host. And I have messed this up before and had to reinstall. It's like you're kind of replacing the wings on the plane that you're flying. And uh, there's like so many good opportunities for this to fail, but it actually worked quite well. It took a bit of time, but then it moved over without a hinge. So that is awesome. At the moment, I'm working very hard to move everything else over. And the last thing that I'm going to move is my PFSense router, which is running as a virtual machine on um, the IBM X3650 Model 4. But we're going to get to that in the next video. It's going to be exciting to see how that goes. At the end of the video here, I would like to um, ask for your like to the video here and I would like to uh, promote my Patreon a little bit. On Patreon you get an extra weekly video, an what's up video, 
where I go around my house here and show you what I've been doing. And actually last night I was on Discord uh, for the most of the night. And as a patron you get access to Discord where you can live chat with me if you want to do that. I am sometimes the quiet guy and sometimes I'm the funny guy and sometimes I'm just embarrassing and dirty. But as a patron you get access to that and you can come in and join the conversation. There's a small group of people that hang out on my Discord server. Sometimes we're over at Ongi Joe's Discord server but well then we're just there. But tonight Sunday when I'm done with all my YouTube work I usually hang out on Discord. So please consider checking me out over on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.